What's going on, everybody? This is the 27th day of the month, and it's time for another proverb. Praise God. Proverbs 27. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment, just drop it right there in the comment section. If you want to subscribe, you go over here and hit the subscribe button. Amen. Without no further ado, Proverbs 27. Verse 1 reads, Boast not thyself tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Verse number 2, Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth. A stranger, and not thine own lips. Verse 3, a stone is heavy, and the sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Amen. Verse number four. Praise God. And it says, wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before envy? Can you stand before envy? I think not. Amen. Praise God. Verse number five. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Verse number six. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy is deceitful. Oh, deceitful you are. Don't do it. Praise God. Verse number seven. A full soul loatheth in honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. Amen. This is the Proverbs. It's full of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Amen. Verse number eight. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Amen. Verse number nine. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So doeth the sweetness of a man's friend by a heart he counsel. Amen. Praise God. Verse number 10. Thine own friend and thy father's friend. Forsake not, neither go into thy brother's house in the day of calamity. For better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. Amen. Praise God. That is the 10th verse. Amen. Of the Proverbs. Verse number 11. My son, be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that reproacheth me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Verse number 12. A prudent man foreseeth an, the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Amen. Praise God. Verse number 13. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger and take a pledge of the of him for a strange woman what what the what you talking about willis amen verse number 14 he that blesseth his friend with a loud voice raises early raising early in the morning it shall be counted a curse to him that's what it says. Read it for yourself. Amen. 
verse number 15. A continuing dropping in a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. Amen. Praise the Lord. Verse number 16. Whosoever hideth her, hideth the wind and the ointment of his right hand, which betrayeth itself. Whoa, that's deep. Verse number 17. Iron sharpeth iron. So a man sharpeneth the contentions of his friend, the countenance of his friend. Amen. Verse number 18. Praise God. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit. Amen. Thereof. So he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. Amen. Verse number 19. As in water, face answereth to face. So the heart of man to man. Amen. Praise the Lord. Verse number 20. Hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of a man are never satisfied. Praise God. Verse number 21. As the fining pot of silver and the furnace of furnace for gold so is a man to his praise. Mm. Verse number 22. Though thou shouldest betray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him? That's a good question. Verse number 23, be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse number 24, for riches are not forever and doeth the crown and doeth to every generation amen these are good these are very very good amen praise god it says verse 25 the hay appeareth and the tender grass showeth itself and herbs of the mountains are gathered amen praise god Verse number 26, the lamb are for thy clothing and the goats are the price of the field. Verse number 27, and thou shalt have goats milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household and for the maintenance for thy maiden. Amen. I just read you the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verses 1 through 27. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing, and most of all, the doing of his words. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. And I hope and pray that these Proverbs that are full of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you will take to heart. Amen. Write them on the table of your heart. And do not forsake the law of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Tune in next time when I read another chapter in Proverbs. Amen.
Praise God.